And that's about the gist of, of the sky mounted incident that occurred in Northern Liberal. Liberal. And to think that the bankrupt Capula family drifted all the way down here. You might be contacted by the Liberal regarding the incident, so deal with it as you see fit. Yeah, it well, turns out I wasn't able to meet him in the end. It seems like something else must have come up. Also, the connection with the Sky Bandit incident is still unknown, but it's clear that another power is at work here. It's an airship! Wait. Wait. Wait! <laughs> We're following Olivia? No, it's not like that at all. I've also become acquainted with an interesting bunch. The food's great, and there are babes everywhere. This is unquestionably my kind of country. Maybe I'll just take up from my residence here while I'm at it. Alright, alright, there's no need to throw a fit. Anyway, see what else you can find out. Just don't get caught looking into things by the Chancellor. I'll contact you again. My dear friend. But yeah. <gasps> We're following Olivia! We're doing it! We're here! A portable phone, eh? Well, aren't you carrying around quite the nifty gadget? And that would be Shara. And the fact you're carrying around an orb meant that even the Zeiss Central Factory couldn't create. Well, how about you tell me who you really are? Come on, Shara. Don't treat me like I'm some kind of stranger. I'm Olivier Lindheim, the wandering bard and gifted musician you've come to adore. But if you'd like to get to know me better, I'm sure we could arrange something. A little pillow talk, perhaps? How about we skip the foreplay and go straight to the climax? You ch your cheap antics won't fool me, Olivier. Or should I call you Mr. Erbonian Operative? <laughs> Looks like the title Silver Streak isn't, isn't just for show. So I guess you were pretending that you didn't notice. In front of the stone Joshua. I don't want to worry those two any more than they already are. So back to the subject at hand. Why don't you start talking? Who are you? And what are you doing in Liberal? Hmm, I'm gonna have to correct you in two points, Shara, my dear. First off, these cheap antics are totally natural. Yes, because you're the best person ever, Olivia. I'm not collecting it or anything. That's just who I am. I believe it. Then after that, being taken to the hacking gate so you could gather information was all part of the plan. And you even set yourself up to run into us? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll leave that part up to your imagination. The other thing I must correct you on is that this device is not an ornament. It is an artifact which is, was unearthed in the Empire. It can pick it back off of any Orbo communication system, and its transmissions can be encrypted, so there's no worry about them being intercepted. It comes in handy for a busy man such as myself. Hmm. It is very curious. Oh, no, 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 Shara. You should never try to pry into the secrets of, of a mysterious beauty all at once. 
I would you would like to get to know a beautiful woman. I'd be more than willing to show you with my whip. Sarah, I don't see any humor in those eyes. What? Well, j jokes aside, you really should have just been straightforward from the beginning. A as you've already figured out, my position is like that of an operative in the Empire. But I have no intention of sabotaging anything or stealing classified information. I merely came here to meet a certain something. Presumably Lucius. Yep, someone you know all too well. The one lauded as the Supreme Swordsman and Master Strategist by the Royal Army. The Bracer with the special title belonging to only four people throughout the whole continent. The Divine Blade. I said Lucius before. Cassius Bright is the one I seek. Chapter 2. Madrigal of the White Magnolia. Okay, well, you know, I guess it's not really chapter 1.5 then, is it? But let's just, uh... Let's just, uh... Let's just, uh... Okay! Let's see... If we're gonna be traveling around the entire kingdom, their nest destination is the Ruin region. I wonder which route we should take to get there. Yep, that seems reasonable. We need to walk and actually see the places we protect first. Or was it Dad who said that? You know, I'm sure it was one of them. Well, I guess since we have some time on our hands, it wouldn't be a bad thing to head there on foot. We could save money. Uh, that way. Great idea. We can use the money we saved to go shopping at the Bose Market. After all, we didn't have time to sprint in shopping around leisurely during the whole Sky Bennett mess. And then we could leave after that. What do you think? I don't care either way, but try not to waste too much money. Just so you know, in order to enter the Rune region, We'll need to go through the Crone Pass to the west. Once you're done shopping, let's leave through the west gate. Okay, time for a shopping trip, but first... I don't know if it's because of the crime waves have stopped or what, but man, do our customers seem happy. Peace is best, that's for sure. Discussing the effect this blockade will have on our local economy. I suspect the blockade will be lifted soon enough, though, making it all moot point. Hmm. <sighs> another day, another failure of a business meeting. I just plain suck at making successful transactions. We cannot afford to eat here. The wine I ordered finally arrived in the last airship. Our stock was beginning to dwindle to a most worrisome level. We were in danger of ruining, running out altogether! Finally, we can stock up on ingredients fairly and honestly. Oh. Hey, listen to this. The head chef actually told me to make today's soup! Looks like all my late nights of practice and soup making are about to pay off! At last, my very favorite wine has been delivered. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for it. So long. Dessert. Airships are in service again. A 
feel like I've done all I can in Bose. I'm thinking of returning to the capital. I think I'll vacation in the Erbonian Empire next. It's a fairly historical place, with a lot of great sights to see, after all. Admittedly, though, it seems a frightening prospect when I think back to the events of ten years ago. Okay, uh, I need to hand that in. I need to find- I have that ring, I can give it back. I have- I continue to have no idea where this could possibly be. Maybe? You're headed to ruin, are you? Yep, thanks for everything, Lou Grand. We really appreciate everything you did for us. Don't mention it. I'm gonna really miss having you guys around. If you ever happen to be in Bose again, don't forget to stop by. You're always welcome. Are you leaving so soon? That's too bad. I was hoping we could work together. Well, good luck with whatever lies ahead, and remember, never give up! Yep, that was us. Skybenders have been arrested, and the missing crew and passengers are all back safe and sound. And according to the receptionist, flights will resume soon. Hmm. Let's see. down here. Nothing in here. So I'm pro rather than a location, it seems I'm probably looking for a person for the Bear Clock West. Just as I'd hoped, there really are reports in this land from people who claim to have seen an ancient dragon. Yes. Oh yes! My excitement is paramount! I must know why they no longer show themselves. I must know where they've gone. And I believe the time for answers is nigh. Uh, I need to check if I know the recipe for that. I do. They say the Sky Bandits were responsible for all the burglaries. And what's more, I hear they arrested they were arrested in mass by the Royal Army. Hmm. Gotta get all this crap in order ASAP so I can kick back with a drink. Sometimes I wanna be a customer too, you know? I can't believe how busy things are today. Placing importance on tradition as the years go on. It's a very difficult task. Or should I work to improve service which conforms to the need of the customers? 
instead of being bound by old traditions. Hmm. Th that last one. You should do the one that's better for everyone, is the one you should do. <laughs> Is that the case? Yeah, that's that's not really healthy. Very healthy. Recently, Lilla has been deciding the mayor's menu for her. Let's see, it looks like I'm a little short on vegetables. Guess I'll have to make a quick trip to the market later. Bell will finally be able to get a good night's sleep. This is all thanks to you. So please allow me to express my sincere appreciation. I just noticed that there's a bed in here. This room is her office, but it's also her bedroom. Oh, are you all going somewhere? Nonsense. I should be the one saying thank you. It would certainly be great if we had braces like you and Bose all the time. <laughs> There's no need to be modest. And I'd like you to let me thank you on behalf of the citizens of Bose. I'm really grateful for the two of you. Well, I guess it wouldn't be right for me to keep you any longer. But still, Joshua, please be careful on your travels. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try and be more careful. Hmm. Interesting. Is there anyone else out here? I saw them. I've really got a thing for the clothes being sold in the Boston market recently. The designs are trendy and unique, but I wonder where the brand is from. Yes, you should. It's terrific. Although a lot has happened, the city seems to be returning to normal. Well, I guess the fact that no one lost their spirit despite the numerous incidents is one of the strong points of the citizens of Bose. Ha ha ha! Ooh, excuse me. Okay, yeah, that's still happening. Uh, now is a good time to try this. Uh, wait. Can I? You know, I would actually rather it be limited to there. Uh. But what I actually wanted is something that I am not seeing in here. I guess I need to go into the options outside of here, don't I? Hmm. Okay, we're we're gonna do a thing. <laughs> Bear with me on this one. <laughs> It's unfortunate that I can't buy a lot of perishable goods at the same time. If I could buy a lot of them, 
the, when they're cheap, then they'd certainly help out on my home budget. It appears that those evil cretins who were causing a ruckus here in Bose finally got what's coming to them. Now I can go back to my business without any worries. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh! They've got some new and interesting wares in today. So this is what an Easter design looks like. I swear my husband never changes. We started this business so that we could live together in Bose. If he's got a reason why he backed out at the last minute, he should be clear about it. Nothing new in there. Hmm. I just love the atmosphere of this market. No matter how mad my parents get, I just can't stop sneaking off to come here. It's not like there's anything to do at home after all. I decided to work at a part-time job here so I could earn money to buy books. Who would have thought that I'd be working at the same store I've grown so accustomed to shopping at? Anything new? Uh, yes, actually. But no chapter three of Carnelia. Man, what a letdown, I tell you. She has a fan say. I'm disappointed to say the least, but as her fan, I'll still come by her stuff. Well, that's good. But now he's decided to set up a store of his own! He seems to be a little frustrated that this store got off the ground without him. <laughs> he's as stubborn and competitive as ever. I guess it means I'm going to be competing with him from now on, so I'll have to work harder. Ooh, I have the recipe for this already. airliners all stepped up, it's kind of hard to get any new clothes in stock. But on the flip side, these new original store brand clothes are selling better than I expect them to. I've got to succeed in this business to make a good living for my family. So I hear that the Sky Bandits were finally arrested. They sure caused a lot of trouble. Hmm. <laughs> yes, by the duck. about stocking fish from Rouen. They always had a reputation for bringing in the largest catch in the entire kingdom. That's what a sea port city will get you, I suppose. Hmm. Let's buy one more of these. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. I already talked to you. Was there someone back here? No. Talk to you. No one at the fountain. Okay. Hmm. 
at the Janus Royal Academy in Rouen, there's a subject called Social Studies. In it, you focus extensively on politics and economics, so I'm sure even my dad would understand why I want to go there. It looks like Trino has come back safely. Now I can get back to the business without reservations. I know a, bo a busy merchant shouldn't let trouble like this discourage them. So those masked men were the rumored sky bandits. I'm glad they were all arrested. Now I can focus on my work. I could have sworn you were the one who lost the ring. Um. Whoa. It's Lana. Are you Lana? No, you're not Lana. My bossy father made it back to home in one piece. If I hadn't taken care of his work, I would have been in ruin by now. My husband, who was abducted by Sky Bandits, came home safely. I'm so relieved. And thankful to the goddess for a safe return. Yep. Uh, that it does. I guess so. All he's been doing for the last 20 years is fish. I can't see how he doesn't get sick of it. Let's see, I wonder what I should go fishing for next. The army returned my products, which were stolen by the Sky Bandits. Now I can finally settle down and get back to business as usual. I got one of everything, it looks like. Okay. No, I already... I wanted to see that. Okay. Nigel was arrested and taken to the hacking gate. I guess it's back to managing the factory for me. It looks like old Nigel was involved in some really shady business. Any new ports? Nope, but I will probably have some new ones in the next area. So... I've already opened all of these. Really? All of them? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Can't afford this quite yet. Time quartz only. Is this also time quartz only? How about this one? Um, yeah, that is. Okay. In fact, let's put... What the hell did I even have here? Blind. Let's put it there. No, because this is time force only. Ah. Okay. No, blind goes here. to get, well, something new. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get a- oh! That's new. Let's do that one. Show us where it sounds interesting, if nothing else. Okay. Hmm.
It looks like my boss went away by was led away by the army. I, you know, I only want to create things. As long as there's an environment for that, I could care less about anything else. But a shop with no boss has me a little worried. That is understandable. Oh! This is this is Lana. Actually, we found a ring that looks something like the one you mentioned in your job request to the, at the guild. If we could, we'd like to have you take a look at it. Oh. Who would ever thought this would have come back to me like this? No, this is the one that was stolen, alright. It was a memento from my mother. I would know it anywhere. It must be really important to you then, right? I had almost believed I would never see it again. I don't know how I can ever repay you for finding this. <laughs> I'm just glad we could help. So I guess our work here is done. Unless there's something else? No, that's all. And once again, thank you for finding this. Woo, we did it! Glad indeed. Next stop! This away! <laughs> 